So of course I'd get home from Kwangju and my lights would completely burst and not just the one but the both of them. I am upset. <laughs> the main reason why I'm so upset by this is because I'm gonna have to ask for help and I really don't want to. Not so much because like asking there's a shame around asking for help that's not necessarily it it's just i like being independent i like being able to do things myself it's like everything in this apartment or almost everything in this apartment was made or changed or something by me like i changed that toilet seat completely on my own and normally i would have called someone for help so i you know but I, I managed to do that on my own that's an achievement for me i changed the toilet seat and you know i go shopping on my own and and i'm just a general adult on my own and <clears throat> any any issues that there are in this apartment i tend to deal with and um not not need help or not want help or ask for it and now i'm gonna have to bite the bullet and ask for help because i can't i can't change those batteries on that, that those lights on my own because if it's not an issue with the bulb and it's something to do with the electrics i'm gonna need help and i'm really sad <laughs> I wanted to be able to just cope and whenever my boss asked if I was okay or I needed anything I, I like I like saying oh no I'm completely fine thank you for asking though but not, everything's not fine now <sighs> and today on is that fog or is that pollution I can't tell anymore oh my god wait a youtuber has actually done a brand deal with a company that I actually want to buy? Oh my god! They don't ship to Korea. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to shower in the dark this morning. <sighs> There's a subway opening on the main road on my way into work. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea for me? I've also found out yesterday when I came back from Kwangju that, um, <laughs> so, I've been pressing those red buttons at traffic lights because that's what you do in England. You have to press the red button or a button in order to cross the road. Otherwise you just don't cross. Not necessary here. The red buttons are for if you're blind. I've been pressing them for about two months solid. Fantastic. Way to embarrass yourself. Good job. I'm sorry, but the temptation to just straight up seal that. Is there something wrong with it? Okay, it might be missing a couple of legs, but that'll be it. Like, I mean, my, my apartment's only there. I mean, I could, I could quite easily drag that back to mine. Oh. I need to go to 7-Eleven first. If it's still there by the time I get to 7-Eleven and come back, Oh, I will be because they won't collect the bins until smart. Oh, I don't know. I need a sofa. There's one free on the street and there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I don't know. That'd be a bit weird though if my boss came into my house and was like, Oh, hey, where'd you get that sofa? Oh, you know, found it on the street. The man who works in one of the 7-Elevens down by me took my tote bag off me and packed my bag for me. I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now Sopranos. No! Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate my laugh so much. <sighs> I didn't see that there was a dip in the pa in the pavement. <laughs> I've just really badly twisted my ankle, <sighs> and I'm late. Wow. I definitely feel that my ankle has swollen up. There is genuinely nothing weirder than hobbling home listening to Dionysus. So I was supposed to get my order today from Weebly. I ordered a jumper from the pop-up store sale. Uh, that was not, not sale, but <clears throat> the resale of the pop-up stores. <clears throat> I ordered a really cute jumper from there. And usually in Korea, if you order something and they can't be bothered to lock the door, they will leave your parcel outside the door. Well, on Weeply, it tells me that my my jumper was delivered, and yet there was no no parcel outside my front door. If someone has stolen my boy with love jumper, death will come of you. Beth, Beth, my lovely Beth, my wonderful human, my best friend, the love of my life, Bethany. She says, walking with her hand still out. If you were that used to them, then you wouldn't need to walk with your hand out. You would just be able to like, you know, just go straight through and not worry. So, calling you out on your lies, your blatant lies. Just saying. I have it, she's here. <laughs> I literally cannot hold fast enough. Even joking though, I got the notification that my jumper had been dispatched this morning, and I'm I, I, I tried it on this afternoon. Royal Mail, uh, get on Korea's level, cause you know they're kind of doing it better than everybody else. <laughs> and I just did that with my fingers. Put that on. I don't see anything so far. I'll probably come back with an adjustable wrench or something. Tighten it up a bit more. Let me go ahead and this is the actual bidet function, so let me just uh, stop my Every time I look out the window, more and more of that mountain disappears. <clears throat> so, an update on my foot, if you're interested. Yes, I am wearing my jumper today. <laughs> um, it's still swollen, and I still can't walk on it properly. Um, I had to take another ibuprofen this morning, but that seems to have done the trick for today, at least. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Okay. Um, yeah, so it seems to have done the trick at least, but it has left me with only one tablet left. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll start getting better soon. The swelling hasn't really gone down much. Um, but it's fine. It'll, it'll go. Hopefully. So I'm, I'm leaving the house in a moment because I'm meeting up with Hei Won 
before work we're going to the local starbucks um i don't know if we're just meeting outside and then leaving again or what but um i'm seeing her and then i'm off to work so that's my plan for the day thankfully um the classes that i do have I can be sat down for. I don't really need or use the whiteboard with these guys. So I can, more so my last class because of their low level English. But for the most of the day, I will be able to sit down and not have to worry. I'll have to try and figure something out with my low class, but I'm not, I don't want to stand up. As much as I possibly can, I don't want to stand up because I don't want to make it worse. <laughs> I think I haven't been to the hospital yet. I don't know if I will be going or if we're just going to wait it out. Um, but I think I've badly sprained my ankle because when I fell, even over my headphones, I heard like popping, like when you crack your knuckles popping, not like, not like a break. So I think I've badly sprained my ankle, not fractured it. Because when I was looking at the NHS website, it said if it still looks like an ankle and it's just swollen, you've more than likely sprained it. So, <laughs> uh, so it still looks like an ankle, it's still swollen, it's just a little bit painful. So we'll see. We will see. I also think that I need to buy a humidifier while I'm here because I've noticed that, well, I think the air has been quite dry. Um, I've noticed that I've been coughing a lot, even if just because my throat is dry and it won't stay not dry, even with the amount of water that I have been drinking it still just doesn't seem to be touching it. So I think I need to buy some kind of humidifier because I can't afford to get sick again. <laughs> so maybe with my next paycheck, we will see. Um, I might get a humidifier. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, would it? Let's be real. So yeah. We will see. It was also quite humid the last two days as well. We After that freezing, freezing weather, it's been quite humid. So, I don't know what's going on. Oh dear. I think we had a bit of an explosion last night. The carriage is fighting back. basically frog marched me to 7-eleven and she was like you need some of these and I was like oh I'll be all right it's just just a little bruise no worry I don't need them she was like no 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 you're getting them <laughs> whether you like it or not you're buying some so I was like okay okay had absolutely no intention of using it and I thought well you know she's <clears throat> She, she said use it, so I thought, well, come on, might as well. I've got them, might as well. I can walk properly. Hey, who is she? We don't know her. I... It's just... I can walk normally. There is no pain. Like, at all. I do this sooner. So some kind of emergency service vehicle just went past my house. 
And the siren sounded like what can only be described as a ray gun or some kind of space laser. It was very strange. <laughs> and I don't know what that means. I'm not even joking, I turn my back for five seconds and all of a sudden, it's a blizzard! <laughs> uh, that's, there's, it's like, look at that! There is so much of it! <laughs> this is so weird! <laughs> I am so glad I came home when I did! <laughs> so I think the real question is am I gonna be an idiot and go out in this to get some food? I mean, it can't actually be that bad, right? Mm -hmm. I have never in my life seen snow so big. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 